Hello. I want to respond to conference reports response to my video toward atheism as a gateway concept. Uh, conference report has done a, a few videos on the notion of gateway concepts and um, my video was a, a take off or a riff on on one of his videos. And one of the things that get, <coughs> conference report said he appreciated about my video was how I treated the gateway as a kind of exit. Uh, as a place you get let out from, from a previous field that may be a constraining, restraining in certain ways. Uh, a, pl a, a place that you, you will move away from one area into something else. Uh, from a constrained area of knowledge. But conference report had a question for me in terms of um, where does atheism lead you to? Uh, it's one thing to say that it leads you away from one area of constrained thought, let's say Christianity or theism, but where does it lead you to? Is it a place of unknowing, asks conference report? A pregnant space of possibility, to use his term? Does it lead you towards methodological naturalism? Well, I want to address um, that question of where atheism leads you to uh, in this video. But to do that, I want to talk a little bit about um, gateway concepts and about their nature. It seems to me we only know for a fact that certain concepts achieve gateway status if they meet three conditions. First, they achieve a kind of universal status, a, a wide acceptance, like Christian, like Christianity did in the Western world, often by force of the sword if the truth were told. Secondly, uh, gateway concepts endure over a lengthy period of time, otherwise they would be historical flashes in the pan. Three, they provide answers to questions that possess the epistemological and metaphysical ambiance of ultimacy. Now note, when I say that, that differs from saying they provide answers to ultimate questions. Ultimate questions are fairly well defined in philosophy and I agree with those who argue that many of them are ill-conceived, if not outright meaningless. Uh, one example would be, as far as I'm concerned, um, the question, is life ultimately meaningful? Why that's an ill-conceived question is perhaps a subject for another video. Well, how does atheism then rate according to these three conditions? Well, since atheism is in many places in the world a minority position, it cannot be said that it has achieved universal status, although it's present throughout the world. My video looked forward to, perhaps assumed, the possibility that atheism could achieve a universal status someday. That's partly why I entitled my video Toward Atheism as a gateway concept. Atheism has endured over a lengthy period of time, I think since uh, Empiricus, Democritus, Lucretius, uh, I think these were some of the first atheists in the Western world, uh, so it's been present for a long period of time, so it meets that condition. Um, Gateway concepts thirdly provide answers to questions that possess epistemological and metaphysical ambiance of ultimacy. Now, does atheism meet that? This is where the gateway serves not merely as a point of departure away from one conceptual scheme, but also moves towards another. I had hoped that my video made some suggestions in this regard. Now because atheism hasn't 
as yet fully met the universality condition. It would be premature to state definitively what atheism as a gateway opens onto. So now any suggestions in this regard are of necessity somewhat vague and speculative. Nevertheless, here are some suggestions, some of the ones I made in my previous video on the topic, and if they seem somewhat vague, that's because uh, atheism as a gateway concept, as a gateway, hasn't been fully realized yet. I don't know what future generations of atheists um, will generate from uh, their atheistic, what kind of conceptual schemes, um, what kinds of uh, avenues of thought they'll generate as a consequence of their atheism. But I think we can see the lineaments of certain directions in which um, atheism will take us. Well, one of the things I said in my previous video is that the limits of the universe are the limits of discovery and reason. That means the universe in its details is teeming with signification and that signification only awaits our discovery. That also means that the universe and reason are, with few limitations, radically open to us. That tells us a great deal about the nature of the place that we inhabit and the means by which we conceive and articulate it. This is a direction. These are all directions, open fields, as it were, in which, uh, as a consequence of atheism, we can move into. Also, what we don't discover, per se, what nevertheless constitutes part of the warp and woof of our experience, what we can fashion and give meaning to. I'm talking about our psychological, social, and political prospects. They too are open to us, and they're only limited by our imaginations and by what is possible. Now, I argued in my previous video, video and I still hold, they should also be limited by um, the conditions of fairness and justice. Be that as it may, atheism holds the prospects of a more just and egalitarian human experience precisely because it's not constrained by negative concepts about humanity, limiting concepts about humanity like original sin. So these are some of the directions in which I think atheism acts as a gateway concept.